Ario, cognado, or cognates that end in ario in Espanol, but ary in Inglés. All the words are going to end either in O or I-O. Here's a poster that you've seen. Obama's an imperialist, no to colony, no to capitalism. Again, this poster is not against the president personally. It is against American policy on the island. The word I want you to look at here is capitalism. In English, is capitalism. In Spanish, all you have to do is add an O. And more particularly, any word that ends in I-S-M, ism, capitalism, communism, socialism, when you're talking about politics. In Spanish, is going to be capitalismo, socialismo, comunismo. And any word that ends in I-S-M in English is going to be ismo en español. So let's look at the entire list. Beauty, text, organism, process, necessary, dialogue, compromise, member, minister, motive. You can see that each one of these has a specific ending, and you know that a lot of words in English end in ISM or SS or RY, for example, or BER, TER, IVE. So these are examples of categories of words that will end in a similar way. I did lie, though. The, the very first one, beauty, is the only one on the list that's not going to end in an O or an IO. This is a unique kind of word. It's belleza. Very few words in Spanish end in esa, but this is one of them. The rest, however, you're only going to add an O or an IO, and you'll go from English to Spanish rather quickly. Text is texto, organism, organismo, process, proceso, necesario, diálogo, compromiso, miembro, ministro, y motivo. That's the lesson. Straightforward. Let's look at some practice. On a sheet of paper, try to figure out what these would be. If beauty is belleza, what might the next one be? What might poverty be? I'll give you five seconds to write down a possible answer for that. Beauty goes to la belleza. Poverty is pobreza. Similar, but you might not be able to make that one out if you were just to look at it. It's different enough that it's a, it's a cognate, but you, you would have to have that pointed out, I think. Poverty, pobreza. Beauty, belleza. These ones are a little easier. Product, context, project, and respect. Take five seconds. Put the espanol off to the side on a sheet of paper. These words are all going to end in either CT or XT. In Espanol, producto, contexto, just add an O if the word ends in a T, very typically. Project is proyecto. Respect is respecto. Now notice project, the J goes to a Y, and respect keeps the C if the context is, for example, this book is in respect to a certain theme. It has to do with a certain thing. When we say that in English, this is in regarding or this is in respect to, then you're going to keep the C. However, if you're just talking about respect that you give to somebody, you're going to drop the C. A very common phrase you'll hear that word in, respeto, is a falta de respeto. Parents and teachers will often say words like that. Falta is a lack of. So you, right now you're showing me a falta de respeto, a lack of respect. The very common usage of the word respeto. That's when you're going to drop the C. But when you're talking about something that is in regard to or in respect to something, you'll keep the C. Organism and mechanism, take a second, jot those down. You should have, because the words end in ISM, ism, in Espanol, it's going to be organismo and mecanismo. Notice they drop the H in mechanism. You've seen this before in words like character, characteristic, and technology. In Espanol, you're going to remove the H in those kind of words. And it'll be carácter, característica, and tecnología. And also add to that list, mecanismo.